Hi everyone, this is Sherry. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a shamrock and a four-leafed clover. Begin by drawing a very loose circle and then um, draw a single swooping line from the middle out. That's going to be your stem. And from there, you're going to attach the leaves, which are just really three hearts uh, with the, the end of the heart pointed towards the stem. And it's really fast and simple. In fact, you could probably um, make cute little shamrocks for your friends for St. Patrick's Day. And when I outline uh, the shamrock, I'm not outlining it as hearts, but as three leaves. And those little center veins there. See, really fast, really easy. And all I gotta do is erase those pencil lines and there you go there's your shamrock. Now I picked a luscious vibrant green to color this shamrock in so I will do so. This marker has a really fine point, so that's why I'm not trying to color too fast. There we go. There's the shamrock. Now, a shamrock has three leaves, while a four leaf clover, of course, has four. So, same start you draw your circle, draw your stem, but this time uh, you just draw it's like drawing a heart, but without that, um, you know, obvious heart shape. Looks like four teardrops. And uh, from what I've read about four leaf clovers, typically the fourth leaf is a little bit smaller than the other three. That's how you tell a genuine four leaf clover from another plant. Now I've found some four-leaf clovers um, many times before and some of them do look like they have little hearts on them but um, I guess like whenever depictions of shamrocks are shown they only show three so anyway uh, with the four-leaf clover uh, there's always a little white ring around the middle of the leaf well it's a lighter ring it's not really white um, the I believe the the four-leaf clover comes from the the white clover uh, group of clover, and so that's how you tell that it's a genuine four-leaf clover is those little rings. And this marker is kind of dry, so I'm going to take that other bright green and uh, fill it in fill in this poorly clover a bit there we go it looks a little bit bolder now and um, because it's not really a white white um, on those rings I'm going to take a, a lime green and just fill it in and uh, that looks a little bit more natural like a real four leaf clover. So there's your four leaf clover. And um, the history, uh, like celebrating the shamrock and the four leaf clover, go back a few hundred years. Uh, the shamrock has three leaves, right? And uh, those three leaves were used to uh, symbolize the Holy Trinity, which would be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit. Whereas the four-leaf clover 
were used to symbolize uh, faith, hope, love, and good luck or uh, the grace of God. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson with your drawing tutorial. Thank you very much and happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.